What's cracking with your snacking, Snacker Stars? It is me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you from 90 Degree Plus, Alexandria, Virginia, and Domino's Pizza. This week on Pizza Night, it's a special request. And I'll be right back right after this to let you know what it is. You are looking live at Domino's Pizza in the Summit Center in Alexandria, Virginia. Home of pot belly sandwiches, China Delight, Dunkin' Donuts, and more. And today I'm here to try a pizza on request. And that request was made by Austin. He also requested that I try a different Domino's pizza a couple of months back. So I have returned to Domino's to try another one of their American legends or American classics or whatever you want to call it. Inside this box is the Memphis barbecue chicken pizza from Domino's and it is what it says it is although I don't know if it's really from Memphis. What you have here is their regular crust, the garlic crust that is, which is covered with barbecue sauce, then shredded provolone cheese as well as cheddar cheese, and also looks like chunked white meat chicken. It's supposed to come with onions as well. I decided to 86 those as I really don't like onions on pizza. Um, $13.99 for this medium. Uh, relatively pricey if you ask me. It smells pretty good, but I've got a dicey history with uh, chicken pizza, no pun intended. Let me go ahead and see if I can't pull up a 420 slice for you here. Looks really hot and greasy. There you go. All right, and because it's a medium, it's a fairly small slice, very, very floppy. Uh, you can see some of that barbecue sauce starting to come through right there with the cheddar cheese to and fro. It's very, very hot. I'm going to go ahead and put that back. And I'm going to put it in my mouth right after this on Pizza Night. All right, gang, I'm back here on Pizza Night. Now, as I was explaining, I have kind of a dicey history with chicken on pizza, whether it be barbecue chicken pizza or buffalo chicken pizza or what have you. More than once, I've gotten very, very sick after eating chicken on pizza. So I hope this doesn't happen here. And it's kind of made me deliver, or rather develop, something of a bias against chicken on pizza. That's kind of the reason why I've sort of delayed this review uh, a few weeks. But I've decided to go ahead and do it for you, Austin, because I do what I can to make my friends and viewers very, very happy. All right, guys, let me go ahead and pick up this uh, 420 slice, which was really, really small. Show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Like I said, this is a medium pizza for $13.99. So a bit overpriced if you ask me, but that's okay. It does smell pretty good, except for that slight twinge of that flu-flu chicken seasoning, or rather scent, that I'm not really that crazy about. But we'll see how it goes. Let me go ahead and take a bite. What can I say? Maybe I've let enough time pass between myself and chicken pizza to where I can actually enjoy it again. I actually like the way that tastes. Of course, Domino's crust is fairly standard, particularly their uh, garlic crust that they've had for the last five or six years now. Uh, I usually ask for the crust on a regular pizza from Domino's to not have the garlic crust because if I eat a lot of it, it tends to tear my tongue up a little bit. It makes my... Uh, mouth sore for some reason I'm not really sure but it does uh, deliver a salty zip of garlicky flavor a uh, nice sort of a crispy outer shell to the crust and then nice and soft on the inside I do like Domino's crust a lot um, then you get to the barbecue sauce as we build it from the bottom to the top the way we always do and it's a very sweet barbecue sauce with under notes of like vinegar uh, kind of a twang to it I guess you would say uh, not smoky, uh, I would say, but yeah, sweet and twangy, not tangy. Uh, the cheeses are good. I think they're probably the highlight of this pizza, and they actually create not only a flavor difference, but a textural difference between the two, and you can tell them apart. The provolone blanketing most of the uh, pizza has a nice sort of uh, melty, stretchy complex to it, where the cheddar has a little bit more of a... 
oh, I don't know, rough texture for whatever reason, and you can sort of feel that on the pizza, and it's got its sharper flavor to the sort of smooth and smoky flavor you get from the provolone. That's pretty good. Now, the chicken, that's where I'm kind of like, eh, you know, whatever. It tastes okay. It's not like you just bit off of a nice uh, rotisserie chicken or a Popeye's chicken or something like that. It's very similar to those kind of pre-cut uh, butter ball or Oscar Mayer chicken strips that you can get to put in salads and stuff like that. Um, so nothing real impressive there. Nothing bad either. Uh, the flavor is very mild, uh, but it does have that kind of flu-flu sort of thing going on. And that's, you know, basically what I usually describe as what chicken tastes like right when it's getting ready to turn, but hasn't turned yet. It's still good to eat, but give it another day, it might not be. So that's where it probably loses a few points. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a three quarters thumbs up here on Pizza Night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sweating like a pig because it's 90 plus degrees out here tonight. Been hot for the last couple of days. Hopefully May will finish itself out a little bit more mild before we get into the summer. And as we get into the summer, I'll be taking more and more trips out here and uh, letting you know what's good in the pizza world. So stay tuned. Also, comment down below what you want to see me review on Pizza Night, and I'll try to get to that for you ASAP. Also, join us on Facebook by clicking on the link in the description with hundreds of the coolest people in the world in our group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS. When you do, use the hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way we know what you're eating and you know what we're eating too. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.